Hi guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel, and you are watching the Spectrum AR636 programming series. This is part 14, where we will be discussing transmitter selection and how to program your transmitter in preparation for binding your newly programmed Spectrum AR636 receiver. Before we get started with the binding process, I wanted to discuss transmitter selection when using an AR636 receiver. While the AR636 receiver does have your normal six servo outputs that all six channel receivers have, which correlate to your throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, gear, and aux one outputs, you also have four more available digital inputs on aux two, aux three, aux four, and aux five for 10 total input channels into the AR636. The additional input channels are useful for things like a flight mode selection, where we can change the flight modes of the AR636, as well as adding a panic button if you choose to program your AR636 with the optional save functionality, as we've discussed during the AR636 programming series. Because of the additional functionality of the AR636 receiver, I always recommend pairing the AR636 with at least an 8-channel transmitter. This includes the DX8E, the DX8, the DX9, the IX12, or the IX20 transmitters. All of these transmitters will allow you to have full control of the six servo outputs, as well as offer a minimum of two digital inputs, which can control your AR636 flight modes, as well as a panic button if you choose to program your AR636 with SAFE. I like to think of a transmitter as a long-term investment into our futures in the RC aviation hobby. While many of us may think that we're the best RC aircraft pilots in the world, the fact is that even the best of us still crash airplanes every now and then. Even in the most catastrophic of crashes, where the airplane is a complete loss and all the electronics catch on fire and burn alive, your transmitter is going to survive. So your transmitter can last you for years and years and years. So instead of getting a DXE and then graduating to a DX6I and then a DX6 and then a DX8E, go ahead and invest that money now into a transmitter that's going to last you for the next five to ten years and don't worry about it anymore. Once you get a DX8 or a DX9 or an IX12, that investment is going to last you most likely through every airplane that you ever fly in this great hobby of RC aviation. And don't worry, if you're a newcomer to the hobby, that investment is going to continue to last. And even if you decide that you don't like the hobby, say in the next year, transmitters typically carry a very high resale value and you're not going to lose that much money where if you were to purchase something like a DXE, that's gonna be basically a complete loss because the resale value on those is terrible. But a DX8 or a DX9 is still gonna carry a very high resale value in the used market. Before we can bind our transmitter to our AR636, we need to create a new model in the transmitter. On the IX12, we need to do that in the model utilities. We get to the model utilities by clicking where it says Apprentice S in the upper left hand corner of the screen. We'll go ahead and tap that now. And we'll long tap proceed. We're now in the model utility screen and to create a new model we're going to click the three dots in the upper right hand corner and we're going to select add a new model. We're going to select default under select model option and we're going to click airplane. When it asks if we want to create a new acro model, we're going to click create. And now that process is complete, so we can scroll down to the bottom of our available models where we should see our new acro model. We'll go ahead and select that. Here we can go ahead and change the name. We'll change that name to P47. The P47 is a four channel aircraft with throttle, aileron, elevator, and rudder. There are no retractable gear, there are no flaps. Because we want to program 
a flight mode selection switch as well as a panic button we're going to be monitoring six channels and we'll leave the category as airplane now we can back out of the model utilities and hit the back button again and now we are in our p47 model and if we swipe the screen to the left to take us to the monitor screen we'll see that we're monitoring six channels our throttle aileron elevator rudder our gear channel and our aux one channel the reason that we are looking at six channels on a four channel aircraft like i said we want to also program this to not only control the four main functions of the aircraft but we also want to have a flight mode selection switch and a panic button to program our flight mode selection switch and panic buttons we're going to go into model setup and we're going to go to channel assign we'll long press proceed here we are looking at our channel assign screen of the ix12 and we want to assign a switch to the gear and the aux1 channels the gear will be our flight mode selection switch i want to have that on switch b we're going to tap the switch and all you need to do is exercise switch B and it will automatically assign it to switch B. For aux one, that's gonna be our panic button, which I want to be on the I button on the upper left hand shoulder. So when we select switch D, all we're gonna do is press the I button on the top of the transmitter and it's automatically going to assign that channel to switch I. Now we can go back to our model setup. And we want to verify under model adjust and servo setup. First, we want to make sure that none of our servos are set to do any reversing at all because we want to set up all the reversing, especially for our main three channels that are controlled by the AR636 gyro. We want to make sure that none of those have the servos reversed. The other ones you can reverse in the transmitter, but the three axis that you have in the gyro, you do not want to reverse in the transmitter. You want to reverse those only in the receiver. And here we can see our aileron, elevator, and rudder do not have reverse on, so we should be good to go. And we'll also check our servo travel. And right now everything is set at 100, so it should be good to go as well. And let's also go and check the functionality of our switches. Uh, for the gear, which will be our flight mode selection, as we go through the three different positions of the switch, we can see that it goes from 0 to negative 100, 0, 100, which should be good for changing our flight modes within the AR636. And our I button, which will be our safe mode, as you press it, it goes from 100 to negative 100, which will be good for enabling our panic inside of the AR636. So for this particular model, uh, for the AR636, we would assign our flight mode to the gear channel and we would assign our panic button to aux one. All right guys, so that's my take on transmitter selection, as well as how to program your transmitter in preparation for binding. Be sure to stay tuned for part 15, where we're gonna go over how to bind your AR636 receiver with your transmitter.